Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cover, I am Penjo, welcome back to Godhood, where last time out we set up our religion, we set up the religion of lovely tea, of course we did, and that is overlooked by the almighty god of the endless teapot, and we have ourselves 55 followers, uh, they're called brewers of course, because you know you brew tea and all that kind of stuff, and if we get five more, so currently we're a first gathering, that's our sort of status, our religion, we're a first gathering, if we get five more, we will become a spiritual circle. So we want to move things on a bit. We want to get to become a spiritual circle. That sounds like a good thing. And this is what we've got so far. We've got the little sort of campfire thing. We've got a storytelling circle. We've got a tavern, which is exclusively tea based. There's no alcohol in here. It's just all tea. It's all lovely different types of tea. And this thing here is a sort of storehouse, isn't it? I can't remember what the exact wording is, but it's like an offering storehouse. I'm going to tell you up there. An offering stockpile. That's what it is. So we need to get some more followers, but also we need to issue some commands to our disciples here. So we've got our five disciples. We've got Adarian who was there from the very beginning. And then we've got Kipak, Montezuma, Kuzgatl and Kuali who also need to have some stuff issued out to them. So what we're going to do first is, can we go to Montezuma? Yes. Now Montezuma, it's very clear what he's going to do from the start. Montezuma has himself a holy banana. <laughs> he has himself a holy banana. So we could send him over to do some offerings. Now we have 41 of those at the moment. We've got 41 of those offerings. We could do with getting some more of those. So if we send him to gather some stuff from the stockpile, he will bring back more. And that's because we need lots of those. These three people are fully charged. So Montezuma, Cosgatl and Kuali are ready to do some miracles, but we don't have enough of these. We don't have enough offerings. So let's start moving people about, shall we? So you. So Montezuma, where might you be? Montezuma... You're going over here, please. Go and grab some offerings. That would be lovely. Right, who else wants to do some stuff? We might as well get everybody to go and do some stuff. Right, Adarian. Where are you, Adarian? Um, can I click up there and get them to do stuff? Uh, yes, I can. Okay, that's easier to click up there rather than trying to find them. Uh, you can go and do that. You could go and do some uh, do some sort of campfire preaching kind of stuff like that. Um, who else should we get to do something? One of these can do a miracle. Let's get well, let's get him to do a miracle, cos cattle. So you, cos cattle, you are miracle charged. Let's increase your health and devotion. That sounds like a good thing to get done. So you're a heavyweight drinker of tea, of course. And then we've got Kipak and Kuali. We've not got enough uh, enough offerings to do another miracle just yet. So let's send uh, Kipak over to. Oh, you cannot inspire more than three disciples at once. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, they can just sit about then. Okay, <laughs> fine. Yeah, don't don't you worry, guys. It's fine. So those three are doing some stuff, and the other two are just sort of going to kick back and not do very much. Okay, fine. Oh, I didn't realise there was a limit. I wonder if when we go up a bit, we get higher levels. I wonder if that means that we can then inspire more people at the same time. Right, I hadn't realised that. Um, we've got 17 more turns until some more initiates appear that might then become disciples. And we do need to go and do some more uh, some more little sort of uh, journeys to see the other tribes, see if we can convert them over to our side. But with three of our people out currently doing something, that only leaves two to go and have a little sort of uh, theological duel, and that's not enough. So let's just move time on. Let's just move time forward a bit, which I think is what that does, but it doesn't look like it did anything. Uh, I'll just press it again. There we go. <laughs> I thought I'd pressed it, but clearly I didn't press it hard enough. So we're on year four, season one, the wondrous tavern miracle. Already quite smashed on tea, of course. Yeah, a lot of tannin and free radicals. Um, cause cattle challenged a nearby lake to a drinking contest. Naturally, the lake agreed. Of course it did. Brewers poured bucket after bucket of tea into the lake, but cause cattle was still drinking tea. Well, after the lake had flooded, the crowd roared with tea fueled applause. This is obviously some sort of sign of my greatness. <laughs> okay, so... We are, we're going to add Bibulus Drinker. Bibulus? Bibulus? I've never seen that word before. But okay, you've got some sort of special power thing. So you've got that. So you've got plus two health and plus two devotion. And your new ability. Ah, yes, of course, you're the sort of the, the dark person, aren't you? You're the sort of person that messes with people's minds. So you've got lots of doom. You're full of doom. But now you've also got condemn. <laughs> oh, crikey. Oh, dear. I don't want to get the wrong side of you. So you can make people feel doomed or you can make them feel condemned. What does that do? Total damage, 6 to 8. Uh, and then it, a Charisma bonus gives you plus 2. Oh, that's 3 to 5. Oh, so that's a much better attack. Okay, blessed be because cattle. Okay. Um, let's get Montezuma 
Let's now let's get Koali to a miracle because Koali's neutral and it'd be nice if Koali had something to smile about. So let's do this. Um, Koali, go and have a miracle upon you. You can have a miracle myth. We'll increase your charisma, I think. I mean, these are all good things anyway. So let's increase your charisma. You can go and do that. And then we'll send another person to do one of these. So how about we send... Um, how about we send Montezuma to go back to there again and gather some more offerings. So we'll send you over there because the most holy of bananas will also get some extra stuff. I assume that's how it works. And then the other three can go on a little journey. Right, here we go. So we've got that. That's clear. That's clear. So this isn't clear. This isn't clear. And this is not clear. Okay, yeah, we don't get any rewards from these. We don't get rewards from those guys. What about these? Ah, we get 10 brewers if we convert these over. Uh, they look quite sort of uh, tribally. Well, they're all tribes, but they look like, yeah, they've got lots of uh, plants on their heads and stuff. But okay, let's have... Um, oh, oh, hang on. Does it not rule out the ones that are busy doing something? Oh, okay, I thought it ruled them out. I think it's those three, isn't it? I think Coscattle is on his way. There we go. So let's start the mission with you guys. What's their attack? Claw. Yeah, that's like a sort of green... Are they all druids? Yeah, they're all nature. So resisting divine, but they're weak against dark. Ah, now we do have dark. We've got dark and ancestral. Okay, right. So we might be all right because they're weak against him. So cost catalyst, but we're going to do some good damage. Um, and they resist divine. Now, how? what do we do? What do we do here? Right, remind me. Hang on. Let me see if I can figure out exactly how this works. Oh, they do morale damage. Okay, so divine is... Divine is the point to your power. But yeah, so we don't do divine damage. We do, if we look at that, for example, we do morale damage, which is the sort of spinny arrow thing. Okay, I think we'll be okay. And then we can collect 10 brewers. This could be good. And then, then we just sort of sit back and wait now. We just wait for stuff to happen. They just get their random draws. So we go first, which is lovely. So we just get our random draws of our characters. Unity, peace off, and a bit of doom. <laughs> there we go. Ah, so you've healed us up, even though we weren't damaged. That's quite nice. Oh, effective. You really did cause them some good damage there. That was great. They've all got the same attack. Oh, well done. Oh, you are... Everyone just fighting for the team. I like that. So we've taken a bit of damage. We could do with your healing thing again. Peace offer. There you go. Let's stop fighting. <laughs> As you go and whack him in the face. Let's stop fighting. Pow. <laughs> nice trick. Okay, pagan beast walkers have been persuaded. Kipak is Miracle Charge. Lovely. Okay, proceed. So we should have more brewers. Yeah, okay. Oh, the god has leveled up. Your disciples have overcome the obstacles before they return home victorious. And we are going to level up to the heavens with us. Okay. So we're now level three. So we are a spiritual circle. We've got a new god action. Inspire Fanatic Grounds. And we've now got 25 worshipper supports. Okay, what does that do? Find the most fervent worshippers to induct as fanatics. Okay. Hopefully the uh, game will tell me what that means. I don't know what to do with that information right now. Oh, here we go. Several brewers felt so close to the endless teapot they wished to serve them more actively. A darin reason they could be trained to become ardent fanatics. Fanatics may be sent to rituals to increase their effectiveness. These fanatics will improve our rituals. Okay. So do I need to build like a fanatics ground or something now? A minor storyteller miracle. Quietly told an amazing story of the endless teapot's exploits to some brewers. He also drew a funny shape on the floor. Some didn't believe his story, so Quietly showed them a sign in the sand that proved how the endless teapot once touched this ground. That is a bit rubbish. Oh, the miracle didn't... Oh, it was a minor miracle. Oh, I see there's different levels of miracle. And that one wasn't very convincing. Some were impressed by this holy sign, but most remained unconvinced. Do you know what? I am also unconvinced. <laughs> this this is rubbish. Uh, anyone could do this. Uh, they do not see my truth yet. Adds disappointing miracle permanently. Oh, brilliant. Lowers faith. Oh, good. Oh, well, this, that was a well worthwhile thing, wasn't it? Adds miracle myth. The disciples performed miracles. Yay, we performed a terrible miracle. We've got a, a miracle myth, and then it's all a bit disappointing. But he does have a new thing here. So he's got question. Okay. Blessed be Koali. So what does that do? That does deals divine morale damage and dazes the opponent. Ah, but it only attack only directs it can only go against the person that's directly opposite to them on the field of battle. Okay, that's interesting. Right, you are. And now we're gonna get some sort of fanatics ground thing. 
And it's made us look at those trees again. It sometimes does that. It just sort of pitches you off into the middle of nowhere. Okay. Inspire the fanatics grounds. Let's put them over there, shall we? Yay, we've got a thing. We've got a little sort of, a little kind of crazy temple thing with lots of pluses on it. Okay. So now I can send people in there, can I? Okay. We've not, oh look, we've got one fanatic. You currently have one fanatic. How do I issue a fanatic? I'd like, I'd like to deal out a fanatic, please. It sounds like an interesting thing to do. Uh, we need a hundred brewers to become a creed. So at the moment we're a spiritual circle. And then fanatics grounds. Okay, right, hang on. Right, how is this going to work then? So let's have a look. So let's say, Kuali, you can go up to... Oh, you can collect more fanatics. Oh, yeah, you go and do that. Absolutely. You trundle off and do that. And then we'll have... Can we get Montezuma leveled up? I don't think we can, can we? I think you need 25 to do a miracle. Is that what you need? Let's just say Montezuma. Um, yeah, we need 25 offerings. Okay, so we can't do a miracle. So let's send people over to the offerings grounds then. Montezuma, again, back you go to the offerings ground. And um, you, can you go off to the offerings ground? Are we allowed to send two people to the same place? Cost cattle. Yeah, okay, yes. You go there as well. Grab lots of offerings. Uh, and these two can just sort of sit back and relax. Kipak is a bit injured anyway, so that's fine. So yeah, I'm not going to do that yet. I'm not going to go off and uh, do a little mission right now. We're going to wait for somebody. Yeah, I want to get these at least one more person leveled up. I think that's the best thing we could do. So let's just wait. That will trundle through. We get ourselves lots of offerings. 44 and 8 fanatics. Okay, brilliant. Okay, that's good. The only thing is, I don't know how to deploy fanatics. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. How do we use them? How do we use a fanatic? I don't know. Um, oh, Oh, we can upgrade the... Th oh, we can upgrade the Holy Center. No, we can't upgrade the Holy Center. Can we upgrade the stockpile? We can. Oh, hang on. What do you need to upgrade this? 75. Ah, it's very important to get these then. Yes, yeah, so we want to get lots of fanatics. Are fanatics used in the upgrades of everything? Is that what I'm to read into this? Yes. Okay, fanatics are important. Are fanatics involved in this? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, okay. So fanatics are involved in the upgrades of... All of the things. Yeah, we want to get more fanatics then, please. <laughs> That's what they do. So they upgrade the buildings. Right, now I know. Now I know. Uh, let's put... Uh, let's upgrade Montezuma. He's been waiting a little while, hasn't he, for his miracle. So Montezuma, what can we give you? Let's get you to do this heavyweight drinker thing as well. Let's get you to do that. Health and devotion, that's got to be a good thing. So yes, please, go and do that. Um, and then we'll have... Let's send Kipak... Now, let's leave Cos Cattle here, because he's quite a high level. So, Cos Cattle, you go over here and just do some... In fact, do you want to gather some fanatics? Yeah, go and gather some fanatics. Go and do some fanaticizing. And then the other three, so Adarin, Kipak, and Kuali, can go off and do some stuff. Uh, a rare relic can be created here. <gasps> oh, oh, yes, please. Absolutely. So, Adarian, Kipak, and... Cos cattle, was it? Possibly. I think it might have been those. Yes, I think it was those. I think we're going to send those over. So what are you? You're, oh, you resist ancestral. Oh, but you're weak against nature. Oh, hang on. Let's drop Kipak out of there. Uh, I know Cos, it was Cos cattle, wasn't it? Hang on. Let's put, uh, where are you? Montezuma. You can go in because you're weak against nature. Yeah, so you resist ancestral. Okay, let's send the dark person then. Or do we send the divine Kuali? Joe, you know let's send... Let's set oh, which is Joe. You know, let's send Kuali. Then he can level up. He's only a five at the moment. Um, so we're going to bless a relic. Oh, please give us something wonderful. We might get another, <laughs> like a holy pineapple or something. And then we shall start the mission. Also, sacraments. What? I don't know what that means just there. I'm not entirely sure what that means just there. But okay, let's start this mission. I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be okay. What's that there? Oh, it's a little book of some description. Right, we go first, which is useful. Hopefully he won't get his healing thing straight off. Because that was a little bit... I mean, it's a good thing, but it was a bit disappointing last time. So he said, hey, let's let's do some peace. I'm going to whack you in the head with it. That's effective. And he's telling them to repent. Okay, so we're down to 25. They're down to 25 out of 40. Uh, ah, oh, and he's, he's just done some sort of healing thing on us. Which is unfortunate because we're not damaged yet. Now we could do with it. Oh, my goodness me. They're, they're very much beating up a Darian. Okay, we possibly need to... Oh, no. <laughs> ah, good. Ten. That was pretty convincing. And nine and six. And they are gone. Your ways are wrong. <laughs> yes, indeed. Okay. That was a bit... 
harder than the previous one because they hit us quite hard. Montezuma has indeed become Miracle Charge. Okay, so proceed with this. How many people do we get? We've got ourselves a handful of people and we have a rare relic. Okay, this is very exciting. So let's embrace the converts. Go, yay. Um, bless the rare relic. Who do we want to have a lovely relic? Well, Montezuma's got the banana. Why don't we give Adarian a relic? Given that, yeah, he's he's the top bod. He's the top man. Let's give him one. Um, ancestral relics do cool things to devotees. Oh, uh, chances on nature relics. Chances on dark relics. Ch oh, okay, fine. Let's just give him that. Let's just give him that one. Choose a Darian to bless a relic. Yes, let's give you a most holy. What's it going to be? Oh, an axe of execution given to the people who are a peaceful religion <laughs> about drinking tea. Yeah, I don't know if we should give our people the axe of execution when we're supposed to be a peaceful religion. This does not seem like the most peaceful of things. So disciple bonus, executioner, follow up when allies cause a physical critical hit. Can only slot ancestral, but we don't do that though. We don't, we don't really do much in the way of physical damage. Oh, that's a bit disappointing. Yeah, we don't really do that. Oh, never mind. Wondrous Tavern Miracle. Uh, oh, Montezuma's now uh, uh, challenging the lake. Okay, this is good. So Montezuma comes in. You've got Bibulous Drinker or Bibulous Drinker. And you've got a new thing there. The Marvel of Growth. Deal morale damage condemning the opponent. Total damage 7 to 9. Base damage 4 to 6. And you get a Charisma bonus. Okay. That sounds good to me. And a new passive. I guess that must happen at a certain level. Maybe it happens at level 5. Uh, more devotion or more charisma. Um, I think that had a charisma bonus. So let's let's get our charisma up a bit. Uh, is that the right choice? Charisma bonus, yeah. Blessed be Montezuma. Okay. I think I'm sort of getting the hang of it. We just need to go through and do more of these then, don't we? But can Kipak... Oh, Kipak can't quite get his miracle thing out yet. We can't be 25 and we've got 23. Uh, let's get some more fanatics. Let's um, let's do some of these. So, um, anyone, I don't know, Adarian, you go and get some fanatics. Lovely. You, uh, Montezuma, you go grab some offerings and, I don't know, Goz Cattle, get some more fanatics. Lovely. And then we'll have some fanatics to do some upgrading of our buildings as well, which is quite nice. Uh, oh yeah, and we need to give somebody this. We need to give somebody this rare relic, which I sort of feel a bit bad about, but okay. Uh, well, I mean, Darian sort of, I feel like he should have it right now, even though it's not very nice. So follow up when an ally scores a physical critical hit. We don't do any physical damage, so this is completely pointless. Also, what's that? Passives ambassador choices. What is this? Disciples earn abilities automatically, but after some miracles, you may grant them divine inspiration by choosing a skill for them. Okay, can I have this now? After two miracles. Um, uh, okay, let's have let's have charisma. Oh no, I can't pick then. That's just oh, so he's had that one. That's next. Ah, so when he does his next miracle, we will be able to choose one of those. So that's just these things. Oh, so after one miracle, we don't get a choice. After two. We pick and then we get all oh, different ones after the next set of miracles. Oh, that's very exciting, isn't it? And um, yeah, there you go, Adarian. He he loves serenity. He loves peace. And we've given him a massive axe called the Adarian's Axe of Execution. <laughs> oh, it does not compute. It feels wrong. Okay, so I think even though we've got people doing something, I still think they can go and do stuff around the world. Um, I'm a bit confused about this. What what do these guys do? I don't know why they're still there. Why have they not changed to our side? They've not so sort of gone over to our side yet. And we don't get anything for converting them, but they're still here. They're still just sort of lurking around. Um, how about we go and take them on again and see if we can get rid of them and change them over to our side. So let's just put in, let's put in the lowest sort of rank people. So we'll have Kipak, we'll have Kuali, and we'll have Montezuma. We'll just, we'll just go and start this little sort of, uh, this little sort of uh, scrap now. They've only got 30 as well. So maybe we'll take them out. Oh, apart from they go first. Oh, well done. Well done, unguided. Let us guide you to the way of the tea. There we go. You've done a defensive thing. So they have attack force and attack. Right, they're quite fighty then. Uh, yeah, they're hitting us quite hard in the face, but I'm sure we can come back stronger than that. So here we go. Convert lecture and wisdom. <laughs> Aren't we great? There you go. This is the power of a book. And I'm just going to tell you things that are wise. Okay, so they get attack, force, and attack. I think that's probably all they've got for them. 
Apart from Kipak is being hit quite hard. And then this will be the end of you guys. You shall be gone because we're going to convert to you a bit. <laughs> By whacking you in the face with some conversion. There we go. Persuaded. Miracle charge. Proceed. Now we don't get any disciples from that I don't think. We don't get anything from that. We get no people. So okay. So does that mean that's changed over to us now? Let's have a quick look. No, I don't understand this. You can visit this location in two days. Is that just like a training ground or something? Because that seems to be that they never come over to our side. Okay, fine. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. Um, however, we do have 31 fanatics. So could we, say, upgrade, I don't know, our stockpile? Could we do this? No, that's too much. Could we upgrade the storytelling circle? Yes, we can. Look, we've got one upgrade. So it improves all miracles in the ritual. Okay, yeah, let's do that. So does that change what it looks like? Uh, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure if it did change what it looked like. Did they put a few more rugs down or something? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not I'm not wholly sure. Uh, okay, let's get some more people to do some of this stuff. So we'll get um, Montezuma to go and gather some offerings. And the other two can go... Yeah, let's get a Darin to go and grab some fanatics. And then let's get... I don't know, you to go and gather some fanatics as well. Why not? There we go. So grab some fanatics, grab some offerings, and then we shall do a miracle for Kipak. Um, which one do we want? An increase of charisma might be a good thing. The higher the disciples' faith, the better their performance. Okay, how do we see what their faith is? Hang on, Kipak. Come out of that a sec. Come out of that. Uh, can we see what your faith is? Oh, it's here. It's the smiley face thing. Oh, oh dear. Our people are not overly delighted. The Adarian is absolutely loving the religion, but everyone else is all a little bit kind of neutral there. Likely to have a normal outcome from rituals and miracle. Sometimes we'll do an extra action in a sacrament. Okay. That might not work. Is it worth trying to get that back up a bit? Now, yeah, what can we do? They will do as I command, which is, that's nice. That's a good thing. And then only takes half the time. We're performing a miracle, extra chance on a great miracle. Oh, that sounds quite good. Do you know what? Let's just do it, shall we? Let's just go. All right, Kipak, here you go. Go and... Um, oh, I can't do it because I've got three people doing stuff. Ah, Kipak, wait there, right? Just, just hold your horses. Hold your horses. It's fine. Uh, let's go to here then. Let's see if we can get these guys on board. So they're all... What are they? They're all ancestral. So we've got quite a few ancestral people as well. So resist life, but weak versus divine. Okay, so let's throw you in then. Let's throw Kuali in, because Kuali is is divine. Um, I can't remember what Kuali's job thing, Bob, is. Oh, you're a zealot, that's it. So we'll throw you in. Let's throw Goscattle in, and let's put let's put Montezuma in as well. Let's leave a Darien out of this one, because he's already quite good. And let's see if we can collect 10 brewers as well. That could be quite good. So yeah, they're the same strength as us. A lot are all sort of chatting away. Only children fight, it said down there. Okay, so you're using force to start with, and we're getting like a defensive thing. Whoa! He just did eight damage on us from the off. Oh my word. Okay, so we're eight down already. That's, uh, yeah, we're... Oh, right, okay. Yeah, they're, they're causing us some serious damage. Oh my goodness me, how many goes is he getting? Okay, we're under half health already. And then we're going to go and lecture them. Okay. But that calls 15. He might be the saviour. Koali might be the one that we want on that, on board. However, in one go, they did take out more than half our stuff. So hopefully we can survive this. Right, three. That's good. We can survive that. Oh my god. He attacked us all. Okay, right. We're down to six. They're down to seven. We're going to, going to ask them some tricky questions. 24. Goodness grief. What did he ask them? <laughs> that is some question. Okay. And only just quietly. Miracle charge. Okay, proceed. And how many people did we get? Okay, we've got a few more people. That's very good indeed. Time passes by because they all run back in doing stuff. Lots of extra fanatics. We've got 52 offerings, which is quite nice. Um, okay, so are they now converted to... Yeah, they are. They're converted to us. It's just these guys. I don't get... Don't I don't get it. Maybe they're just like a constant thing where we can just go and fight them all the time. I'm not sure. Um, also here, look, we've not even gone just here. Oh no, hang on, does that lead to there? I don't know if that leads to there. There's something that way, there's some lines coming off there. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure, I don't know. Uh, however, right, let's go back to the city. And now let's do these, let's do the miracles now. So, right, Kipak. Kipak, come down here. We'll try and increase your charisma. 
And then we've got just enough for Kuali to do his as well. And we'll send you down here as well. You can both do some miracle myths. Why not? Um, and then we've got one more of these. Let's get a Darian to go and collect some offerings. There we go. Lovely. And um, I think that's everybody done, isn't it? However, we do have 29 of those. Is it worth trying to upgrade the tavern? Did we upgrade the tavern before? No. Oh, we need 30. Oh, <laughs> okay. Right, let's not do that then. Okay, and there we go. The wondrous storyteller miracle. Kipak told an amazing story of the endless teapot's exploits to some brewers. The story was so well told that it came alive in the very stars. Okay, so everyone's looking up at the stars, except Kipak, who's got their eyes closed. Stories are the wellspring of faith. So what have we got? Oh, we've got a book with a rainbow over it. That's nice. So now we get plus two knowledge because we get knowledge bonuses because we upgraded it, which is very good. So plus two knowledge, plus two charisma, plus one cunning. And oh, we got the same abilities. We got another peace offer ability. So um, it deals an extra 50% damage if it's used in the last round. And it's just an ancestral thing. Okay. Oh, and we get the passive ability. Okay. Okay. This is good. The thing is, I can't remember what to have. What does that show me? Ah, okay. Lovely. Uh, where are your abilities? What's useful? don't know what's useful. We've got Charisma of 7 and Devotion of 11. I feel like we should... That's got a Charisma bonus. They've all got Charisma bonuses. I feel like I should increase your Charisma a little bit. Thank you very much. There we go. Blessed be Kipak. And another wonderful one in the stars as well for whoever the other one was. Who did we send? Was it cause Cattle? Oh, Koali. There we go. So you've got the same as well. Knowledge, Charisma and Cunning. Oh, you've got some sort of Halo type thing. Blessing. Deal lesser divine morale damage and raises the critical chance of all allies. Ooh, scales with devotion. Okay, this has a devotion bonus. So let's increase devotion. And blessed be Koali. Okay. Oh, that was good. We got some good stuff out of that. Now we want to send some people to go over here and get some disciples. So Darian, go and grab some disciples. Uh, everybody go and grab disciples, in fact. Kipak, dis uh, not disciples, fanatics, sorry. And uh, Montezuma... Grab some fanatics. I want to do some upgrading of things. And let's go over here then. Let's go over here. The Bountiful Tlalocks. Okay, so we've got a rain, oh, three rainmakers. So they are resisting divine but weak against dark. Dark, you say? Okay, oh, he's recovering. The disciple is too hurt. Ah, okay. That would be really useful to have you on board. Maybe we don't go there right now. What about up here then? So you're all dark. You resist nature but you're weak versus life. Okay, that's fine. We can put three people in that are not nature. So Montezuma's got left behind. But I think we'll be okay. We should be okay against them. Let's go and have a little bit of a little bit of a conversion thing. I like the way all our people come along. <laughs> it's going to travel a long way. This is good. We're going first. So we should. We're going to ask some questions and then try and convert them. So that's seven and seven and presumably seven. Nine. Oh, good job, Adarian. Well done. Yeah, yeah. Leading, but you know, setting the example there. Right, there's a lot of doom coming our way. <laughs> Trying to fill two down, folks. There's just a lot of doom. And if we do the same again, we'll take them out because we cause more than half their damage. Electric converter, convert. Broken. Oh, they've yielded. They've gone. The stubborn elder has gone. And you need to you need to be quite good. We've got one left. And you're going to tell them to repent. And they have indeed repented. We took one out. We broke one of them. I didn't realise that. Their morale must have come crashing down. And they just sort of gave up. Oh, okay, that's exciting. Right, proceed. Let's see what comes out of that. We're 96 out of 100. Ah, oh, <laughs> so close. Um, Yeah, we want... Oh, everyone's quite injured. Oh, no, everyone's healed up. Everyone is now healed up. Oh, marvellous. Okay, and we've got 51 fanatics. So what do we want to improve? I think we can improve all of the things now. I think we can improve all of the things. So we can improve the tavern, but we can probably upgrade this as well. Yeah, so we get extra offerings... If we upgrade the offering stockpile. But would it not make sense? Can we upgrade this? Oh, that needs 65. Yeah, I think we upgrade this. If we need fanatics to upgrade everything else, why don't we firstly upgrade the thing that gives us the fanatics? So let's have another round of people doing that. So you go there. Kipak. You, uh, I didn't mean to click that button. Kipak. You go to there. And, I don't know, Quali. You, why do I keep doing that? That doesn't. That's not how it works. And then you go there, grab some fanatics, and we shall go over here. We'll go to these guys now. So yeah, they're weak against dark. So Cos Cattle, you can lead. And then we'll put Kipak 
and nature versus nature is probably a little bit naff isn't it they resist divine though let's put a darian in there we go we'll just throw you in i'm sure we'll be fine it's gonna it's gonna be um it's gonna be cos cattle who's gonna lead the charge of this oh they're a bit tougher than us oh oh okay it's a good job we've got you or oh, they're being all kind of we have that power don't we be reflective like nature okay they're adding some sort of defense i think I don't know what that's doing, but they've got a, a the plus 10 morale arm. Oh, bother. Okay. <laughs> that's what these two guys are doing. Four was effective, was it? Another four and a seven. Okay, right. It's a good job we've got a Darian on board because he's quite good. Okay, so we're taking them down 15. They're doing some spells on us. It's only causing two. I think we'll be, if it only causes two each time, we'll be absolutely fine. Okay, cost cattle, do some serious damage. Yeah, condemn them. Really go and tell them off. Seven. And another three. That's not very much. And a peace offer of eight. Crikey. Okay, the eight was good. Bountiful Tlaloc, I think you're going down. Oh, oh yes. You just sort of defied you. <laughs> just told you where to go. Okay, 17 out of 50. Doom, peace offer and convert. Doom, not that effective. Eight, a peace offer was way more effective. And you are broken and they are gone anyway. So that top Rainmaker would have given up anyway. But they're all defeated Talalok searchers have been persuaded. Cause cattle's got a lovely miracle charge. And we should, I think, be over a hundred. Yes. Yes. Hurrah. So what have we become now? A creed. Okay. To the heavens we go. Let's see what happens now. So we're level four, which means, what does that mean? Uh, we've got a dedicate statue. Dedicate a statue to peace in one of your miracle rituals. Oh, that's nice. Improves all miracles in the ritual. We can construct a miracle building. Oh, that sounds good. And we've got this thing increased to 30. Okay. Right, so now we're going to have a new thing to build. Oh, yes. Can we build the new shiny thing? Yeah, there we go. Everyone come back. Great. I want to build the new shiny thing. Uh, also, what's that? Dedicate statue. Oh, hang on. Let's do this first. Construct a miracle building. Oh, we've got another one of these things. <gasps> oh, marvellous. Right, okay. I need to have a look to see what's going to be really useful. Uh, yeah, there's quite a lot of things. I don't think we had Hunter's Lodge last time, did we? I don't remember seeing that last time. But okay, right, let's have a quick look through these just to see what is going to be the most useful for the people that we've got. Okay, I've narrowed it down to two options. Either the Meditation Site, because that mostly raises knowledge, increasing your chance to get lucky with morale attacks. And that's what mostly we do. Or go for the Market form a market miracle to raise cunning and knowledge increasing the critical chance for attacks i quite like the idea of that i like the idea of having a market we've already got like a storytelling thing that's where people can go and be deep and thoughtful whilst listening to stories we've got a tavern to go and drink the tea maybe the market could sell tea to people so they can make their own rather than to go to the tavern so i think we'll go for the market increasing cunning and knowledge increasing the critical chance for attacks Sounds like a good thing. Right, now we just need to figure out where to put the market. Well, let's put the market just there. Yeah, okay, now I've got a market. Now what's this? Dedicate a statue. Dedicate a statue to peace in one of your miracle rituals. Oh, so we have to pick one of these. Um, okay, I quite like this. So can we do that? Okay, is that the right thing to do? Oh my goodness, mate, I get to pick a statue. Oh, and there's a, there's a corn on the cob statue. <laughs> The corn of peace. <laughs> oh, if there's nothing better, we're having the corn of peace. Although I quite like the cup of peace because, you know, tea and everything. Uh, okay, what is that? The jaguar, the slightly weird looking tentacle of peace, the sword of peace. I mean, that doesn't really compute, does it? Oh, that's quite nice. The heart of peace. That's quite lovely. Uh, son of peace. What's that? Rednar of peace. I don't know what that is. Like a shrugging beetle demon. Okay. Oh, there's lots of lovely things. The the clicky of peace. <laughs> Very good. Very good. The moon of peace. Uh, water, hand, cup, corn, or disciple. I mean, I'd love to have that. I think that's very funny. To just stick a statue of a big bit of corn. But given that yeah, we love the tea, let's have the cup of peace. And it, that could be filled with tea. And if we could just jump in it and swim around in it, we're going to inspire the cup of peace. Okay, so we've now got a cup of peace down here. Um, and we've got more stuff to do. Right. Goz cattle. Have we got? Oh, we haven't got enough to do a, a miracle. That'd be nice to get him down here to do a miracle. But okay, we can't do that. So, with that in mind, uh, Darian, get some offerings. Montezuma. Oh, I keep doing that. Montezuma. Uh, grab some offerings. And Kipak, go up here with some 
uh, to grab some fanatics. And now let's see what we can upgrade. So yeah, can we go now to the fanatic ground and upgrade the fanatic grounds for 65? So now when we gather fanatics, we'll get more. Ta-da! It doesn't look any different, I don't think. I'd like it to look marginally different, but okay, that's fine. So um, yeah, we've got test of faith one, the upgrade. And uh, yeah, you're in there doing some stuff. Okay, is everybody is everybody happy? Everyone's neutral. Everyone's faith is neutral. I need to put them around the campfire to get their faith up a bit, I think. But uh, okay, for now, that'll have to do. And let's send them out on another thing. Ah, yeah, I was going to say, there's some more down here. Look, what's that? What's that? There's a pointy thing. So as we told, the might of the player of ages when they drove away the rainmakers. Or, down here we can get a common relic and collect 10 brewers, and here's 10 brewers. Well, let's go and get the relic, because that might be really useful. That might be very useful. We've nearly kind of done this island. We can go to the old city. I'm sure we can get ready to go to the old city. Catch 100 brewers. Oh my goodness, but we've got to do all these things first. So, uh, okay, well, let's do that first, and let's go here. Let's see if we can grab that relic. So what they nature, the weekend's dark. All right, cost cattle, you're up. And we'll throw in Quali and Adarian. Okay, yep, yeah, let's start the mission. We're relying on, co relying on cost cattle, really, to do some supremely good stuff. Where is the thunder? Oh, bother, they've gone first. That's unfortunate. Oh, and they're all going to do their defendy malarkey. Oh, no, only, oh, no, has he done them all? Claw Claw spell. 19? Okay, Kuat, I think we might have just bit... Oh, my goodness, we just... Oh, okay. <laughs> we were just handed... Our bottoms to us on a plate. Good grief. Okay, yes. So Alok Searchers utterly, absolutely annihilated us with, without mercy. Okay, yes, let's embrace, let's embrace the converts of nobody. Oh my word, they just absolutely beat us up good and proper. Um, I can go back there in one day. Uh, okay, what happened there? Did I pick the wrong thing? Did it say they were weak against? They're weak against dark. But they absolutely just <laughs> annihilated us. Okay, right. Uh, maybe we need to up our faith and all that kind of stuff. Let's stick everybody round the... Uh... Quali is not available. His faith is completely broken and he can't do anything for a while. He did get proper beaten up. He was very much beaten up. Right, go and, go and hang around the fire. And everyone else hang around the fire. Because everyone feels a little bit miserable right now. So you also go and hang around the fire. Let's try and get people's faith up a little bit, shall we? <laughs> because that did not go well at all. That was that was spectacularly bad. Okay, Cos Cattle has gone up to happy, which is nice. That's quite good. Increased chance to do an extra action in a sacrament. I think what we might do is we might do all that again. But I don't think we can get Kuali to do anything at all. Let's get Cos Cattle. Um, now you're happy. You, Cos Cattle, can come over here, look. Let's go over to the new market. You, an eloquent peddler is what you might get. That's the, the miracle you might get. And um, you can increase cunning and knowledge. Okay, you go over there and do that. And then everyone else, um, yeah, Montezuma, go and try and raise your faith because it makes you happy. And no, I keep doing that. You, to there. You also go and do that, please. Absolutely. I can't believe those people just absolutely thrashed us. How <laughs> embarrassing. Right, okay, let's move time on. Let's see what happens. So hopefully he'll get a good thing out of this because he's relatively happy. A market miracle. Cos cattle wield and deal goods on the marketplace with impeccable skill. Fellow stallkeepers looked on in awe as Cos cattle took some Colel cab traders into a hugely favourable deal. Truly, Cos cattle spoke as the endless teapot would. I know the endless teapot talks much. You just sort of just pause. Cost cattle made a good amount of offerings. Ah, so we collect five offerings as well. Oh, that's quite welcome. And you're going to go up. So you've got yourself knowledge and cunning. And you've got a new mind thing. Mind fog. Deals morale damage and dazes the mind of the opponent for the whole sacrament. Ooh, that's quite good. Okay, yes. And teacher passive. Oh, botherations. Uh, what did that thing require? A charisma bonus. Yeah, all those are charisma bonuses. So we'll have charisma please although i feel like i should pick knowledge because everything's purple and knowledge is purple but no everything had a charisma bonus we'll pick charisma blessed be cause cattle um okay we could get a darian to go over and do some of that these are all happy koali is still down his faith is still broken oh poor koali he's just what's he doing are those <laughs> or she i'm not is koali a hang on are you a lady 
Are you a possibly lady? Oh, I, I apologise. Sorry, Koala. I've been calling you a he. She is very broken. So she's not doing anything. Oh, dear. Yeah, that's unfortunate, isn't it? Okay, never mind. <laughs> right. Let's give everybody something to do. Um, could one of you... Right, Adarin, you're generally always happy. Go and grab some more fanatics, if you'd be so kind. Um, Kipak. Because now they're all happy. It's fine. We can go and do more of these things. And then Montezuma... Um, go over here and do this. I have one or two brewers. We get some brewers from just doing that. Let's go and grab some. Let's go and grab some more fanatics. Let's try and upgrade our sort of uh, little sort of setup a bit. And then let's let's maybe not go there because they annihilated us before. Let's go over here because they're a bit more mixed spells. Yeah, but it, that was weird because it it said, hang on, yeah, they're against dark. Oh yeah, now you're the who are you? You're the light one, was it? Resisting divine. Oh, did I send you in? And they resist divine. Yeah, that probably was not my finest move, actually. <laughs> Never mind. It's fine. We'll go and do this. They've got 50 out of 50. How can we increase this? I want our general thing to be to be better. I want this to be more. I want more hit points. How do I get more hit points, I wonder? I do not know. Okay, never mind. Right, let's give this a go. Let's see if we can take out those other guys. It would be useful if we could go first. That would be handy. Ah, good. Right, we get the first hits in. They're going to do their defensive nature shenanigans. Okay, Rainmaker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, good. Yep. Yeah. Nature's defiance. Good. Are you going to do it as well? No. So, Doom, Convert, and Convert. Eight. That's a good start. Another eight with Convert. Oh, we're picking on the... Fourteen! <laughs> wow, good job, Adarian. That's it. That's some supreme conversion. That's two. That's not very much. That's ten physical damage. That's quite a lot. And that's two morale damage. That's fine. Okay, I'm looking at I'm looking at you up here, Cos Cattle. Just six. Peace offer of fifteen. <laughs> I love the fact there's a peace offer. They just go and I don't know I don't know, throw a peace treat in their face. And they're gonna go bang. Oh, okay, fine. We, we, we give in. Right. They've been persuaded. Proceed. Now this should yeah, we've got some more people. We'll embrace them. Okay. But now all three of the people that went away. I know Adarian and Koali are fine, but Kipak is still recovering. Ah, Koali is back. So first order of business is get Koali around here to increase their faith. Because they're a little bit down. They've been down and out for a while, so they can go and do some of that. Uh, we will send a couple of other people up here. Let's grab some fanatics. And Kipak, you can grab some fanatics as well. And then let's go off and do another one of these. However, let's go over here. Let's leave that maybe until later on because they really did cause some damage. So let's let's go over here. Uh, what does that mean there? What does the, well, I don't know what the little skull means. They've got 60 HP, these guys, right? They've got 40 HP. That old city envoy. Yeah, let's go over there. Let's take those guys out. So you resist nature. They resist dark and they resist nature, but they're weak against ancestral. Okay, um, so let's put, uh, let's put you... Hang on, who do you want to put at the top? So what do you do? You resist nature, but you're weak versus life. We haven't got any life. So let's chuck Cos Cattle in at the top, then Darin versus you, and then uh, you resist nature. Okay, well, let's put Koali in then. There we go. Let's see if that works. Let's give that a go and just see if we're any good. We're even on hit points, which is good. Peace is the way of life. And we go first. Marvellous. I don't know what determines that at all, but we're first. So yay, that's good. You've increased your health, which is... Oh, okay. You've just healed up. You've not increased it permanently. You've just healed yourself. But you... Oh, my goodness me. Wow. Okay. <laughs> well, that was quite straightforward then. That was what it's like to win on a comprehensive one rather than rather than being destroyed. Okay, lovely. Uh, let's do this. Let's see how many people we got out of that. 132. Oh, next... If we get 80 more people, we will be a small cult. Which makes it sound a little bit sinister, doesn't it? But okay. Right, now, Kuali, we're going to send you again back to there. We want to increase your faith. We want you to be a little bit happier, please. And um, has anyone... And Adarian is miracle-charged. So Adarian, why not go over here? Go over to the Eloquent Peddler. Ah, hang on, hang on. No, no, no. Come out of that. Can we upgrade the Eloquent Peddler? We can. Yeah, we can. Let's do this. So Secret Stash plus one Cunning... Or record keeping plus one knowledge. I don't know. Record keeping plus one knowledge. Why the heck not? There we go. And let's upgrade one of these. Well, let's upgrade the tavern. So let's do that as well, because that's another 30. Plus one devotion, plus one health. 
Uh, I know, plus one devotion. Why not? That'll do. I'm not really sure, but I'll just press the buttons and see what happens. And now, let's send Darian down to here to go to do the eloquent peddling. <laughs> you can do some peddling. And then, I don't know, Kipak can go and grab some offerings. That'll do. And then, shall we go over here? Or do we go up there? They've got, I don't, they've got 60 HP. And that might be pushing it a little bit. 68 P seems seems quite a lot. Do you know what? Let's go for it. Let's have a little go. They've only got they've got two guardians and an executioner, so two level fours and a level five. We might be okay. So they resist dark. Ah, uh, yes. There's no point taking cos cattle, I wouldn't think. Uh, and you resist nature. So let's put Adarian, uh, Kipak, and Kuali in. So we've got no advantages. But no disadvantages. Either. Oh, they resist life. Oh, that's quite good, actually. Yeah, they resist life. Right, hang on. Let's move you around a bit. So if they do a lane-to-lane -lane attack, uh, we'll put Kuali there, and then we'll put Kipak there. So if they've got attacks that can only get across, attack across you know, the same sort of lane that they're on, then, yeah, if they're resisting... If they're resisting... Yeah, if they're resisting life, that's quite good. So that stubborn elder will be not causing as much damage on Kipak and the Darian. Okay, right, gotcha. Let's see then. I think we'll have this then. I know they've got 60, but we should be okay. Also, we've got 25% damage on kind abilities, minus 50% damage on violence, but they don't have any bonuses. I guess because they've not got a proper religion, I guess. They're just sort of tribes folk, I'm assuming, right now. Okay, right. Let's go whack them. Convert and then lecture. <laughs> Give them a lecture uh, for seven. Good. And then a piece off at 24. Oh my goodness. We've just took 40 off them in one go. Bash. Okay, not too bad. War Reaper was quite bad, and Life Strike was quite brutal. Yeah, they took us down by 20 as well, though. That's 12. Come on, we can do this. That is 6. It's all down to you. It's all down to you, Kipak. Uh, oh, no, Darian again. Oh, okay. I thought it was Kipak's go, was it? But okay, never mind. Whatever. Whoever. Yes. The Old City War Party has been persuaded. More people miracle charged. Have we got enough people? 143 out of 150. Oh, we got a relic. <gasps> this is very exciting. Right, okay. Uh, pick me, pick me. Uh, all right, Kuali, seeing as you asked. Yeah, why not? Yes, you asked nicely. You said pick me, I pick you. And we get ourselves a holy flower. <laughs> okay, the flower of devotion. Okay, that that's that's lovely. It's quite nice. We'll have a bit of that. Um, and Joe, you know well, the thing is he did generate that. Let's do that. Adarin grows grey. Let's see, we're only as old as you feel. Well, Adarin definitely feels very old. Having reached a ripe old age of 41, Adarin have a little more trouble performing certain tasks from now on. Like what? Okay, Adarin, I'm glad we're going to do this ritual then. Uh, he did some good wheeling and dealing. He made some offerings. He's got the eloquent peddler thing. So he's got his knowledge and his cunning up. And he's got peace offer. Oh, okay, we already had that one. Okay, never mind. Right, we'll teach a passive. Oh, oh, these are different things as well. These are different exciting things. Okay, right, what do they do? Use ancient peace. It doesn't look very peaceful. This picture looks slightly threatening. Ancient peace in the first turn, if there's an enemy divine disciple, it is ancestral morale damage to enemies and lowers morale armor for two rounds. And it will always trigger. Okay, but only if there is an enemy divine disciple or if there's an enemy ancestral disciple. Okay, um, I mean, it's whatever. It, it, either or, isn't it? That does ancestral morale damage, and that deals divine morale damage to all enemies, and bounds up to two of their physical attack for one round, and that lowers their morale armor. That might be more useful. We have a lot of morale attacks. Let's pick that. Let's have an ancient peace, shall we? Blessed be a Darian. Yes, indeed. And I think what we'll do is we'll give Coscatl that flower because Coscatl is lacking devotion. Oh, hang on. Coscatl can't have that thing. Is it only for Kuali? Where's our flower? Hang on a minute. Where's our flower? Do we not have that? A common relic. Hang on. What, why is that there? It can be equipped by a miracle. To sign a relic, first open the inspection window for the miracle, then click the plus symbol. Oh! Oh, it improves all... Mi oh, I see. So it's a one-use thing. So when we use that... It'll become part of a miracle, and then it will go away. It's not a thing that we assign to somebody to keep, like the, the lovely peaceful acts of execution. <laughs> Peace be with you. Or the holy banana. Um. Oh, right, okay. So that works slightly differently. Right, gotcha. 
And I think we'll stop just there. It's a pretty good point to stop. I think what we'll do next time, we'll get Koali to do some more stuff around their little campfire to get Koali's faith back up. Because I don't like you being on neutral. I like them being unhappy or you know, more than happy. So we'll get that increased. And then we'll deal with the difficult things. We'll have to deal with the difficult ones because we've only got tricky ones left. We've got this thing here who absolutely whooped us last time. And then we've got these special ones here. These special fancy ones with little sort of plus arrows. And then it'll be the big fight. It'll be the big fight in the old city. So Acolytes from the old city will respond when you summon your initiates. And that gives us 100 brewers or possibly 10 brewers. I'm not really sure why there's two conversion rewards of the same type. Why does it just say 110 brewers? I do not know. But that's what we'll do as well. And then that looks like it gives us different options. Because that sort of spins off to two different islands by the look of it. I'm not sure. I mean, how do we get over to it? There's something over here as well. Maybe we have to get to that island and clear those clouds, which I didn't notice that. That's lovely. <laughs> you can sort of blow the clouds away. That's quite fun. Um, so yeah, so I wonder if that leads onto that island. But yeah, next time we'll do the big stuff because this looks like the difficult stuff. That was difficult. These have got pointy special arrows and that is the big fight in the old city. So yeah, we'll give that a go. They've got 100 hit points. I don't know how we increase our hit points. I'm not entirely sure how that works, but do you know what? Never mind. We shall find out next time, but we'll wrap it up for now. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, then please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you are not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here in Godhood. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geekhood, and I'll see you next time. I just want to point out the danger of blasting fire into the face of somebody who has not got any kind of headgear on. Let's suppress the pants off that thing. I always knew hiding at a park bench would be no good. Oh no, it's a terrifying disc thing. The aliens shoot him with such force <laughs> that he loses his hair, which is just ridiculous. <laughs>